G'day Bear fans, welcome Coyote fans. When I did this uh, K-member stand for my Coyote swap, and this is the exact same stand I used, I just had to find a way to transport it from Minnesota to Ohio without absorbent fees. Thanks to my brother Art, I was able to do that. Um, when I did it for the first time, I used C-clamps to hold the K-member in place. I was worried about it popping off the jack stands and uh, you know having a little bit more time to think about it with the Barra swap I decided to do version 2 with some more intelligent thoughts like um, I want to be able just to roll the K member under the car bolt it into place if I don't like it uh, have a simple way to secure it and that's what this is these are just pieces of one-inch angle iron under here. If you can see them on top of the, the jack stands to distribute the weight and to allow me to bolt just one bolt in place, this one. Um, and I'm going to use some of this plain old strap steel here. So in the next section, you'll probably see it bolted up underneath. These guys, uh, just a couple of bolts here on the inside actually is the one I want to do inside and inside for the support or the you know basically I'm trying to position it so that the K member won't roll about that's the idea and then um, when you bolt it up into the car you just drop the jack stands and roll the K member stand away and you're good so that's the plan anyways uh, let's just get to it okay so um, you can see how I'm going to hold the jack stands from tilting outward. That's one of my fears is they're going to want to spit outward. Um, and then the K-member is kind of pinned from sliding off of the jack stands with those pogos, I'm calling them, there and there. Um, then finally, uh, down here, I've just decided I'm just going to use some simple strap iron again similar technique to this but it's just going to come up and bend over and you'll be able to just rotate it into off of one of these points rotate it in that'll like hold it somewhat in place i don't even know if i'm going to need to uh make it so that they're um anything but pinned in you know temporarily i don't in other words i don't think i need to bolt anything down the K member can just rest on top of whatever that is. And uh, when it's time to pull it up out of the way, then it won't be in the way, so to speak. Um, here we are. Okay, so I got my uh, jack stand stays in place. They're just bent, perforated angle, or uh, flat, as you can see. Um, those are just... Those bolts holding it in place are just about one and a quarter, one and a half inch long, um, five sixteenths, eighteens, some washers, and there's my stand. The only thing left to do is weld in place these jack stays, these jack stand stays, which are just basically low profile, pardon my thumb being in the way, low profile, uh, um, pieces of angle. I'll just weld those in, weld to this, and then the idea is just basically keep this in place so that that uh, the jack stands will be oriented the right way. Once you get, you know, 800 pounds of something jamming down on you, your tendency to get squirrely tends to be less, you know, so... <laughs> Once I've got those uh, in place, the weight of the engine is pretty much working for us. And uh, these are all finger tight. Um, you know, it's not meant to be permanent. This, this stand is meant to be something you roll around on the ground and then eventually you disassemble it and put it in a box, stand it up against the wall somewhere. Those are still usable ramps, in other words, and I'm kind of that's one of the reasons that I'm not welding things together. If I was doing this every day, I probably would make this into a permanent fixture, but 
all these components I want to break down when I'm done with the build. So the main thing I see is here's a way to roll around your engine and transmission assembly. And the next problem is how do you get that to easily work with the body? And that'll also be in this video as well. Okay. Um, welded my stays in place for the jack stands. There's one in each quarter there. Can you see them? This guy. And as you can see, they're kind of raised up a little bit just in case I need to use these as ramps or anything later. But uh, then I covered my jack stand tops and duct tape. There's a reason for that. I just kind of want things to be a little bit softer than raw metal. Good old UPRK member. One-handed moving operation here. Let's see, I should set this thing up somewhere where I can record. Okay, that's going to have to do. So, the K member sits here. Steel on the inside, you know, between the jack stands, that steel is not going to want to pop out on me, okay? In order to pop out, it's going to have to pull up on these guys here, and actually gravity is going to be working for us. And then these pogos, they're in place. K-members located, roughly. And now I just need an engine put on it, right? Yeah. Um, there is some slide, as you can see. Uh, you have to eyeball some of this. Again, everything's finger tight. Perfect. Mainly, what this has to be, if we can help it, is uh, able to hold the engine. And you can kind of see it's this; these are spreading the load of the jack stand across where this would normally bolt to the car, so this thing can take the load. And then the there's floor dollies underneath this whole thing. So it's portable, it moves. Um, and then once I've got it ready to fit into the car, I tip the car up and I roll this thing under. And these are used to position the K member into the body. I'll then bolt these in, the front ones. I'll bolt the outer bottom ones in. That'll be enough to hold the K member in while I drop the stand out of the way. Once the stand is dropped out of the way, we uh, bolt the other four bolts in, and you know, the car's roadworthy. Ha! Huh. Anyways, uh, you get the idea. This is a, a way to, to uh, mount your engine multiple times. And um, my final piece is gonna involve these guys. And some some uh, of those jack stands right there. Uh, so two of the jack stands will be positioned under this body once I've got the frame rails welded in place, the subframe connectors. Once they're welded in place, and I'm talking about these guys here. Let me pull one of them out. Oh God. 
Now we're adding to the weight of this car, that's for sure. Hang on a second, folks. Mm. All right. What would be nice is if there would be a way to tip this car up so we can work on the front of it up in the air and we can get the engine into it now. Picture this frame rail being under the car and somewhere approximately here on the car, the body is balanced. In other words, if I could tip the car right about this point right here, it would tip up and I could you know, just lift it up by hand. And so the only issue then is trying to keep something from sliding off the jack stands. And so what if we have these guys? He's a little bit of steel here. Okay. You can see it. We'll mount these guys in. Uh, this isn't going to be welded on. The steel isn't. It's just going to be uh, bolted to this uh, caster. And then I'll weld some nuts in here and just use some bolts to squeeze. And that'll grip this frame rail with this and let me tip with this. Which these are rated at some ungodly weight like 900 pounds. 700 pounds. So considering uh, everything, that'll be plenty. So that'll that's how I'm going to be working with this jack stand. That's you know there's probably when I'm publishing some video, some people going, "How the heck is he just lifting the front of his car up like that?" Well, thanks to Dan Wodersky, who's uh, the guy teaching me to weld, <laughs> um, and the guy that did the welding on my yellow coyote swap car. Uh, I was like, that's a great idea. He's the one who told me, hey, you know, I was lifting the car up and tilting it off the back tires. He's like, you know, if you just put your jack stands in the right spot, the thing will just tip up on its own. I was like, what? Yeah. So, um, that's where we're headed. Hope you're enjoying the ride. Uh, this, this is one of those videos that will be out there. Um, not one that I'm going to publish, like, right away. It'll be the kind of thing where... You want to know how the heck I got here? Well, there it is. Hope you're enjoying the ride. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, Coyote fans. Thanks, Bears fans. Bye-bye.